Hi, I'm Monica Jansen, head kick-ass copywriter and strategist at Jansen Communications. And I'm Nicole Krug, digital strategist with Socialite. Today we are talking about LinkedIn for business development, which is probably one of the best business development tools, especially for small business owners, especially if you're in B2B. Absolutely. So let's dive right in. Um, one thing that I always tell people, um, and that I try to do, is, is to join one or two groups and actively participate in the group. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd really, it, it, it might seem natural to join a group of, you know, for, for me, other um, marketers or copywriters. They're not my target market though. They're part of my community, um, but I'd want to join, um, uh, you know, a, 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 because my clients are small business owners, I'd want to join a LinkedIn group that really targets and is for small business owners. That's a great tip. And one of the other things that um, you do is you might join a couple of groups and few, see which one fits for you. But what you can do on LinkedIn is when you're looking at groups is you can see how active they are, right? Because a group might have 30,000 people. But if they're only getting one or two posts a week, um, then that's really not going to be a good part of your time because most people aren't reading it. And so find the groups that work for you and are actually active so you can have those conversations. Yeah. Absolutely, good good tip to keep in mind. Um, you might also want to try sharing gated content when you post a status update on LinkedIn. So by that I mean you can share, you know, an ebook, a white paper, um, a guide, a checklist, something that's on your website that when people come to your website, they have to give you your name and email mm -hmm. address in order to access that document. Um, Definitely experiment with this on LinkedIn. We have, it works. Well, that's good because usually if you've got a white paper, you've got a checklist, whatever it is, it's business content, it's tips, right? And so this is, people are on LinkedIn for business content, you know, very much different from Facebook or Instagram where it's much more of a visual content, what have mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. um, you speak to the business-minded person when you are on LinkedIn. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a really great way to generate leads. Um, and be social. You know, we say this whenever we, I think we talk about anything to do with social media marketing or any of the social channels. LinkedIn is a social media platform. Who cares that it's just, you know, really focused on businesses? People want to talk about it. They, they, they want to have conversations. Well, and you know what? LinkedIn is actually very good because it tells you when um, when there's new business anniversaries or somebody got a new job. If they have their birthday, they might even tell you that. And so basically they're giving you suggestions. So even if you went on once a week and spent five minutes going down the 10 suggestions you have, just reaching out or saying hello, that keeps your conversations fresh and your contacts up to date. Yeah, absolutely. It's so easy to hit like, to, to post a brief comment, you know, great article, great idea, whatever. It absolutely. doesn't take long. Um, Make a list of prospects and ask for introductions. Look up people who you want to meet, see who you have in common, and then ask the, you know, the person who you do know, hey, could you make an introduction? People are so happy to help. All you have to do is ask. This is one of the great things about LinkedIn because it is um, it is that idea of six degrees of separation and you would be surprised sometimes who is in common with different mm -hmm. people, but we all know a warm lead, a warm introduction is a heck of a lot easier than a cold call. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then one thing that I always, like it drives me crazy when I don't get it actually, is if you're trying to, um, if, you're, if you want to connect with someone, add a note in the connection request. Why do you want to connect with me? Um, have we met each other before? Do we have someone in common? Give me something. It's so <laughs> easy to just send out that request, but I'm less likely to connect with you if I have no freaking idea who you are. Well, the, and the connection is the key word there, right? Yeah. It's just um, I don't have any uh, any real desire to just be connected with somebody I don't know, right? It's um, and so that's what this thing is about: is building connections. I love meeting new people, making new contacts. But tell me, tell me why? Tell yeah. me why we should be connected. Yeah, absolutely. So if you have any questions about LinkedIn or LinkedIn for marketing or social media or anything marketing related, you can always reach out to Nicole and I. You can email us or shoot us um, or shoot us. You can email us or shoot us a phone call um, or call Whatever us. Whatever works for you. <laughs> so many options. Um, you can also subscribe to Five Business Rules and get um, more tips whenever we publish a new video. Awesome. Bye. Okay.